All right, people. So, so we got Andre, the former WWE superstar, is officially an AEW superstar. I feel like this man has completely dropped the ball when it comes to the WWE and why I feel like he needs to just retire, releasing superstars who have no type of buildup whatsoever. And it's obvious to me that this man just became so careless about these wrestlers. And you know what? A lot of wrestlers who went to AEW that were from the WWE 10 times do so much better over there than they did in the WWE. Because I remember Andre making his WWE debut, roster debut, and he had a massive pop. But the problem is, years went by, I felt like it just went downhill from there. It was nothing about him that really interested me, and especially in 2020, when the pandemic hit, it just went downhill from there. So, enough of me ranting. We're here for one thing and to see him debut on All Elite Wrestling. So, let's get into it. Oh, Vicky. You and your sexy behind. Hey, shout out to Mark Henry. Let me turn this up. Mark Tony? Is that what they call him now? Mark Tony? No, Mark Henry and Mark Tony. I'm getting everything confused. <laughs> You know, I'm surprised she didn't mention WWE considering the fact that she used to be on WWE. Wow. <laughs> Vicky, you and your Rita Repulsa voice. Oh, I'll join it. Oh my God, it is. No music, just pure interest. My man coming out here with the swagger. Pure gangster. I love it. Coming out walking like this. Like he had ambition, like he had a purpose. I like that. I like this. Did y'all hear that massive pop? Yo, that's how you're making a grand entrance and a grand debut. And apparently Vicky Guerrero's made herself a deal. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. I used to say, I am the face of Latinos. But Today, I am saying, I will be the new face of all elite wrestling. He kind of stumbled at first, but he picked himself up later on. I'll give him a pass on this one. Look, look at his character. I'm loving this, bruh. <laughs> hey, the way that she's looking at him, you can tell what an old lady likes a young guy. It can mean one thing. <laughs> the way she's looking at him, like you can tell they're about to head to the hotel room and get it all. Oh, he does oh. not. He is a what? threat to every champion 
here in AEW. Andrade L. Thinking, why would he go to All Eli Wrestling? Well, let's just say it's a better company than WWE. And we all know why Vince McMahon is turning this company into a joke. Releasing superstars for no reason. Uh, everything about the WWE, he just basically stopped trying. So I feel like with All Eli Wrestling, I literally feel like with Andre, Mark Henry, Big Show, Paul White, I feel like they all have, have a purpose. But I, I'm not sure about Sting's career in All Eli Wrestling. I haven't seen or done any reactions to him, though, but I'll probably do a few videos on him probably soon. So, yeah. Tell me what you all think. Let me know in the comments down below. And, yeah. Bye, him.